If you're fortunate enough to have Carolina chickadees in your area, this is the time of year you'll see them hanging upside down on a variety of trees looking for their next meal. In the fall, chickadees begin storing food in bark crevices, curled leaves, clusters of pine needles, and knot holes. Sweet gum and cattails are two plants that provide seeds. The birds rely on these hordes when other food becomes scarce. In winter, the Carolina chickadees diet is about half plant, half animal. The rest of the year, about 80 to 90 percent of their diet is animal, mostly insects and spiders. Carolina chickadees glean insects from foliage and tree bark, often hanging upside down to do so. They hold seeds and insects in their feet, wedged against the branch they're perched on, to peck into them. During migration and winter, other species associate with Carolina chickadees, which are found with other species about 50% of the time. Tufted titmice, which are dominant over them, are the most common flock associates. Even if you're not able to get away from home to see these inquisitive birds, Carolina chickadees visit feeders for sunflower seeds, peanut chips, and suet. At feeders, Carolina chickadees usually grab a seed and carry it off to eat on a more secluded branch, but this one stayed near the feeder to enjoy a meal. They visit the feeders in my yard often. Even during heavy rain, they can be seen grabbing something to eat. They also enjoy suet. Carolina chickadees excavate or find an unused cavity, usually 2 to 25 feet up in a tree. They compete with downy woodpeckers, brown creepers, and tufted titmice for these cavities. Nests have a foundation of bark strips or other matter and a lining of softer material such as plant down or animal hair. This one seems to be stripping bark off branches, possibly for nesting material. Nesting female Carolina chickadees sleep in the nest cavity while males sleep in a nearby sheltered branch in a vine, tree, or shrub. Sometimes Carolina chickadees nest in nest tubes or nest boxes. If they're in your area, consider putting up a nest box to attract a breeding pair. Make sure you put it up well before breeding season. Attach a guard to keep predators from raiding eggs and young. Did you learn something new about these inquisitive acrobats? Let me know in the comments below. Feel free to share this video with others.